Hi, Ravinda, my name is Daphne, one of the essay correctors here at artspodcast.com. Thank you for sending in your essay for correction. Great to hear from you. Uh, let's go straight in with your essays, the first two here. Sorry. Some people think schools have to be more entertaining. Others think their sole purpose is to educate. Which do you agree with? Use specific reasons and examples. So, educational institutes, okay, we'd say institutions have been surveying for many centuries for the overall growth of pupils by using various teaching methods. Okay, um, have been, you'd kind of want to start here for many centuries. It makes more sense to start with the time uh, clause there. For many centuries, comma, educational institutions have been serving, uh, we don't serve for, just serve, the overall growth of pupils a comma there by using various teaching methods. I believe schools should incorporate some fun activities with traditional study techniques to make it easier for students to gain insight in boring topics. Excellent. Uh, really nice start. I believe schools should incorporate some fun. Now, I'm just going to question the word fun because for IELTS we want to show a really high level vocabulary. So some challenging uh, and stimulating activities. So I'll just put that in italics, uh, along with or as well as traditional techniques to make it easier, absolutely, insight into more boring topics, yeah. However, the main focus should remain in providing education, absolutely. Well done. Okay, really nice start. That's great. Firstly, the school. Okay, the school sounds like one specific school, and better might be schools should adopt some interesting modes of teaching in addition to basic methods because sometimes there are a few topics that create boredom for, yeah so be careful we're not repeating what you've just said so rather than using the idea of boredom that students so why don't you use that students uh, find harder to comprehend or memorize so use a different idea. You've had the idea of boredom, but let's think what else students find it difficult. Okay, so just expanding the vocabulary, avoiding the repetition. It would be easier for children, comma. Now you're comparing easier. You need a comparative. Easier for children if they have some virtual or practical activities that simplify the core concept of the topic. Uh, good. Absolutely right. Very nice. Now, you're using a reverse conditional here. Um, so it would be easier if they had. It's a second conditional. So I, um, you need to have the past simple there. Okay. Would, and then the infinitive, and then past simple. But nice to use that grammar. It, all, it would also help. So keep going on this conditional idea. It would also help to improve cognitive and um, social and cognitive skills. Okay. Um, or you could put as well as improving, yeah, instead of a new sentence. While doing fun activities in groups, students learn about teamwork and communication skills. Okay, for example, so I'd use for example, take for example to inform. Students um, could learn, I use could, so could, might, or may. Those are really effective, better than can. Learn more quickly about various shapes while solving a puzzle with pieces of different uh, mm. shapes and shapes. Why don't you put here maths? Different shapes. Therefore, making study more entertaining helps. Uh, you don't need a comma there. Therefore, making study more entertaining helps with better retention. Good. And again, I would say could help. We don't know, but you're kind of suggesting so these modal verbs again really useful and development of the personality traits good okay secondly the main aim of schools uh, you don't need the should be providing education all the time it could not be replaced or compromised with other activities now be careful here look at the structure you've got firstly secondly but you don't mean that you actually want on the one hand on the other hand so the firstly, secondly means you're continuing the same idea, but you're not. You're changing ideas here. So if you think of the structure, you actually want, on the other hand, or however. However, 
the main aim should still be be providing education which could not be replaced so rather than it which compromise with other activities incorporating entertainment in class could be a challenge for teachers because it requires students uh, to be disciplined and continue to make harmony with study mm, wouldn't say that properly but i know what you mean sort of in, uh, why don't you say um to engage with their studies yeah so engage is quite a nice word we talk about engaging with learning it's sometimes difficult with undisciplined students as and courses so what it what do you mean it engagement connection motivation i think you need to say what you mean here for instance a recent study shows that 30 percent of students do not follow instructions if the teacher is frank with them and not following strict study rules as compared to others <clears throat> Okay, do not follow instructions, even if the teachers, and do not follow, so, and, or rather than not following, uh, ignore strict rules, strict rules, yeah, not quite, a bit of confusing structure there, thus the crucial purpose of school should not be neglected. Um, and instead of while, put even though trying to make learning more fun is important. Just need the end to that sentence there. And then to conclude, I agree alternative methods could be more worthwhile. Good vocabulary. It's a nice range of vocabulary you've got here. Uh, but at the same time, it's the responsibility of teachers to maintain, a, yes, a productive, let's get some more adjectives in even, learning environment. Predicted that in future, most of schools, 3D virtual, yeah, absolutely, most most schools. Now, when you're talking schools in general, which you are, you don't need the, okay? Most schools in general will be using 3D virtual. Yeah, I mean, lockdown has really uh, made that happen, hasn't it, so quickly. Um, but really interesting, good ideas there, just a few things on the layout. Um, we'll help you with that in the next lessons, but really nice start there. Uh, okay, doing an enjoyable activity, uh, better skills. This is a really nice way to organize your planning. Um, uh, development, more creative, good words there, good examples, yeah, because, yeah. Good thinking, well done, really nice. So a child learns lots of skills at an early age, use many, not lots of, while engaging in different types of activities. It's an issue of debate whether performing creative tasks makes a child more skillful, does one help? Or whether you need to repeat whether actually here, because you've got two different ideas here. Reading is a better way to achieve these traits. I strongly agree. Um, good. Visionary. Now, do you mean visionary as in looking to the future or visual and physical? Check out the translation of that, because I don't think you mean visionary. I think you mean more this are more useful for children than reading. Okay, good. Firstly, reading itself could not be considered as an activity that stimulates overall growth of young ones because it's a monotonous activity, okay? Reading a book requires a specific amount of attention span, uh, which is, so not that is, here you need actually which, which is often a challenge for children at an early age. It does not involve all the senses and sometimes creates boredom. Good point, interesting. For example, shows that 50% of parents find themselves demotivated to read to their children and because they do not get much trouble with feedback from them. Okay, now a lot of these essays are in the present tense. Um, so why don't we get this example into the past tense? So showed that and then found because they were not getting. So you could get more marks here on the grammar by varying the tenses that you're using here. Okay, so I would go into past tense there, found, and then here, were not getting, you could get a really nice past imperfect in there, enjoyable feedback, and then the examiner is going to think, hey, good grammar here, points to grammar. Therefore, reading alone cannot contribute, or cannot always contribute, these little words are important, sometimes it can, 
always contribute much uh, to the development of a child. However, but um, now instead of however, go even though. So yes, it's good, but it's not always beneficial. So even though is the concession that you're wanting, not however, which is like contrast. Secondly, enjoyable activities. Yep. And role play introduce various skills into a child's personality because these activities involve effortless critical thinking. Nice. Uh, child or children? I go children become more creative, imaginative, enterprising and develop leadership qualities. Give me more, which are all important skills for careers or for the future. Then a survey, capital letter, shows that 60% of individuals who are involved in sport passed, so here you've gone into the past tense anyway, so keep going, passed their driving test in the first attempt. Okay, interesting. Recreational activities are more important for advanced thinking, better coordination, other social skills, um, and these cannot be learned from reading alone. So, so just kind of keep linking your ideas back to the topic. That's such a good skill in an IELTS essay. Well done. To conclude, it's clear that enjoyable activities play an essential role in growth and development of a child. Um, rather than merely reading a book, uh, it's predicted. Could also become... Now, you're very cautious on your viewpoint here, so I would definitely couldn't, wouldn't go will, which is a bit strong. I would go could also become a more fun activity. Use the comparative a lot, okay? If it's incorporated. Really good start. I like both those. Well done, Ravinda. Good work there. Um, thank you very much. Hope the feedback is useful and talk to you soon.